Good day. Topic 3 is white blood cell differential counts. This is lecture series 3 on our topic on white blood cell counts. The principle and method of doing the differential white blood cell counts. The proportions of the different types of white blood cells, these are five types, eosinophils, lymphocytes, neutrophils, monocytes, and basophils can be determined from a thin blood smear. We saw previously in our lecture series 2 how to make thin blood smears, and in lecture series 1 we saw how to determine and identify and differentiate the different blood cells in a smear. So this procedure is known as the differential white blood cell count. A hematologist scans the stained blood smear and identifies the proportions of the five types of leukocytes distributed in the thin blood smear. The numbers of each type of white blood cell present in a total of 100 to 200 white blood cells counted in the thin blood smear is the differential count. An example is shown. Neutrophils usually take up 50 to 60 percent of the blood cells. Band neutrophils about, zero, about 3 percent. Eosinophils 1 to 4 percent. Basophils about 1 percent. Monocytes 2 to 6 percent. And lymphocytes 40 percent. Now the method used to do the differential white blood cell count is not haphazard. It's very strategic and the battlement method is preferred. You have to look for a thin area on the thin smear, which is a monolayer, and this you can do under a magnification of times 4, 40. It will be towards the tail. When a thin or suitable monolayer is identified, change the lens to times 100 or oil immersion and now count 100 or 200 cells using the battlement method. It's quite simple. You start from the edge of the smear moving towards the interior of the smear because you remember that the leukocytes are not distributed uniformly throughout the smear. Some parts like the body have a concentration of lymphocytes. The edges have got a concentration of polymorphs, the neutrophils and the sinophils and basophils, while the tail may have the monocytes. So we start from the edge, count three microscopic slides or fields in a vertical direction, count three microscopic fields in a horizontal direction, count three microscope fields in vertical direction, three microscope fields in a horizontal direction, three microscope fields in a vertical direction. Now we're illustrating the battlement method further. You have to keep tally of the number of cells you're counting up to 100 or perhaps 200. In this case, we're going to count 100 cells. We have a table, a table with 10 rows. Each row will give a count of 10 cells. And by the time we get to the 10th row, we shall get to 100 cells. And in the columns, we have our five columns, which are representative of the five types of leukocytes. So let's illustrate the battlement method again. And we are going to count three microscope fields of cells in a vertical direction. So in the first field, when we view, supposing we see four leukocytes, neutrophil, 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 and leukocyte, sorry, and lymphocyte. 
So we'll keep the tally in our table. We saw one neutrophil, second neutrophil, third neutrophil, and a lymphocyte. The next microscope field gave us no cells, nothing to tally. Third microscope field gave us lymphocyte, lymphocyte, let's tally that, lymphocyte, lymphocyte, monocyte, lymphocyte, neutrophil. Those are nine cells in the first column. So we've gone three microscope fields in a vertical direction. We are now going to go three microscope fields in a horizontal direction. So the first microscope field in a horizontal cell, in a horizontal direction, gave us five leukocytes, eosinophil, keep tally of that, and now we've got 10 leukocytes in the first row. We're going to go to the second row. Neutrophil, neutrophil, monocyte, and a band cell. We go to the second microscope field in a horizontal direction, third microscope field in a horizontal direction, then we'll change to a vertical direction. Three microscope fields, go to a horizontal direction, three microscope fields, and so on, until we make a tally of a hundred cells. Then we'll get the total down here. Now sometimes we, got, we can have a manual white blood cell tally counter that makes our life easier. These sources of information were used to make this presentation. Thank you.